it's Shelby welcome back today I am making a piece of jewelry out of hot glue I thought that'd be fun it's gonna be either a bracelet or like a cuff I haven't really decided yet and I haven't made this before but I'm thinking it shouldn't be too difficult so I'm gonna pull some supplies together I will link everything down below along with my socials and we'll get started so I'm basically starting just by measuring my wrist and marking it off on a piece of baking paper so it's a little bit waxy of a consistency. It's also not a bad idea to mark the center of the bracelet. That's going to be where the back of your wrist is. And then I'm adding just a big dollop of glue right in the center. That's going to be kind of my main focal point of the bracelet. And right now what I'm doing is reinforcing where it's going to be linked it's really important that that part's really strong on the bracelet. So I'm making sure that it's got a lot of glue on there because if it's gonna rip out, that's probably, I'm thinking, where it's gonna be. And now basically I'm just winging it as far as the design. I kind of am feeling like that Art Deco style is gonna be good for this medium. It allows for slightly um, more geometric lines and then um, Maybe something that looks like a pounded metal almost so that even if it's not like perfectly exact, it doesn't look like it's anything wrong. It just looks like it's more artistic rather than something that's, you know, been mismachined or something of that nature. So right now I'm adding in a lot of spokes, A for design and B also because with hot glue, it's pretty flimsy unless it's got a lot of points touching each other. That's what gives it its strength. So I'm doing like a thin line to connect it and that's going to be like my base and allow me to build off that but then I really need to reinforce it with a bunch of different lines touching so right now I'm basically just winging the design and it's coming out kind of like almost geometric but then also a little bit organic like it kind of looks like leaves it kind of looks like a sunburst I want kind of that diamond diamond-esque shape that's what I'm going for and that's kind of what I'm building off of to make it look um, maybe like something like you would have seen from the past but that was maybe more like vintage inspired that you would like maybe get at like a fair or like a craft fair or like a renaissance fair or something um, these days something that's just you know very evocative of summer but also really cute and like kind of traditional in its own way as well but then something that looks like maybe it was like handcrafted and right now what I'm doing is going in and um, putting more glue off any of the little joints that look a little bit weak. Those are the parts that give it its strength. So if like the glue looks a little bit thin, I'm just kind of going in and making it look a little bit thicker and be a little bit stronger, kind of making the edges a little bit straighter on my diamond because that's going to be the focal point. And then just adding in a couple more spokes for stability. And now it is time to make the clasp. I'm taking craft wire at about 22 gauge and my trusty Gerber. And what I'm going to be doing is making just a simple hook and eye. Um, there's no like real right or wrong way to do this. You just kind of bend. I'm making the hook first. You just kind of bend the hook first and then make a little T area, which is what I'm doing right now. And that's what's going to connect to the bracelet. And I'll show you how I connect it later since this is metal and that's hot glue. But um, basically, yeah, I'm just twisting and trimming it. I'm kind of eyeballing it for how wide I think I made the cuffs of the bracelet. Um, and I tried to make them kind of the same length so that when it matches up on my wrist, they're about the same length. So that's basically um, the hook right there. I'm just bending the hook down just like that. So that's actually the hook and then the wide part is what goes in the bracelet and I'm just twisting the little spiky end in a little bit and that's more just so I don't get stabbed with it rather than any like real neat or reason to do it um, and then I'm gonna start working on the hook next or I'm sorry the um, the eye next and that part's really simple it's literally just um, looping the wire around so I just took the part that I snapped off of from the hook and wound it around the top of my thing a couple times twisted it and I'm rolling in the ends and that's it like it's super easy, super basic, and it just needs something that the hook is going to be able to catch on to. So that's it. Now I'm going to be attaching them. Basically, I'm just putting a lot more hot glue right on the end, and I'm going to stick my hook in. I did film the one with the eye going in, but it was completely out of frame, so it didn't help. This one barely made it in the frame. So I pushed it in, and I'm just putting hot glue on top of it. And basically, when it dries, it's going to seal inside of the hot glue, which is going to dry to like a plastic-like consistency so those are both of them 
and right now I'm spraying it gold. This is the top part of the glue that I was working on, but it's going to be the bottom part of the bracelet. So I let that dry, flipped it over, and now I'm spraying the back of the bracelet, which is going to be the top part of the bracelet. And then I just let that dry. All right, you guys, so that's it. This is how it turned out. You can see it's kind of a fun, it looks almost like those hammered metal bracelets. And it would look great in like a silver as well that I like gold or even like a copper or a bronze. But because it's made out of hot glue, it's really flexible and soft and easy to wear. So you can see it just kind of links just like that. I'll do some close-ups of it afterwards, but I really love it. I think this is perfect for like the beach or the pool or something fun like that where you want a little bit of jewelry on, maybe a little bit of bling, but you don't necessarily want to be heartbroken if it's destroyed or lost. So this is a really great, easy way to jazz up an outfit, but also not lose anything that's super precious to you. I'll link everything you need down in the description along with my socials. Please give a thumbs up if you like the video and please consider subscribing and I'll see you soon.